The closed drag and drop question allows the student to fill in the empty response boxes by dragging the correct answer from a predefined list. We begin by entering the question in the Compose question area. After this, we can go to the Template Markup area. By default, Lorem Ipsum will appear here, but we can replace it with our own content. To create a response box in this text, we can either use the response button in the editor or use the keyboard shortcut, which is double underscore. These response boxes take the place of the words which will be the possible responses. This is in the next section. We now add the possible responses, which will be the words that the student will drag from the list and drop into the response boxes. We can add additional responses by hitting the blue plus add button, and you can remove them by hitting the delete button to the right of the possible responses. Once you are happy with your content, you can go to the set correct answers section and enter in the number of points to be given for this question. After this, you can validate the answers by dragging and dropping the answers to the response boxes. Below this, we have the duplicate responses checkbox. Enable duplicate responses if you want the responses to be used an infinite number of times. You can also decide whether to show or hide the responses drag handles by toggling show drag handles. There is also an option to enable shuffle options. This means that every time the question is rendered, the options will appear in a different order. Your question is now ready to be saved.